Hey guys, for this video, I'm going to show you how to downgrade from Android L Developer Preview uh, software to any KitKat ROM, um, actually any stock KitKat uh, firmware from Google itself. So uh, I'll be putting the link down in the description. Uh, I'll be installing the Android 4.4.3, and let me show you that this is indeed the Android L, the new buttons on the bottom, and the new notification area, and a lot of options. This is the Android L. Android L. Okay, as you can see. So, so I have some issues with this, and most of you out there uh, who installed it, and now I'm going to show you how you can downgrade. It's pretty easy. It's actually the same process of installing the Android L. Uh, so, first of all, you got to turn off your device. and uh, make sure you have installed uh, correct drivers of your Nexus 5, the latest drivers of your Nexus 5 and also make sure you have fastboot and ADB on your uh, on your windows and uh, so let's see hold down the volume down and the power button at the same time and you will be in download mode now to detect your device and connect to your PC or laptop, you got to install the fastboot and ADB. Otherwise, the fastboot and the fast boot devices won't be recognized by your Windows PC or laptop. So let's quickly try out. I'm actually filming it with one hand, so. Okay, now it's connected, and as you can see, this is the tick here. This tick shows that my device has working uh, ADB and fastboot, and all this kind of stuff has been installed. The latest USB drivers for my Nexus 5 here, and also I will be installing uh, where it is. Okay, I will be installing this this Android file. So I have downloaded it. The link will be in the description. is called as Hammerhead. KTU84M. It will be a zip file. You have to download it and then extract it uh, on a folder named Android. So first, make a new folder here. New folder name Android. Uh, here it is. Okay. Gonna make a new folder named Android. And once you have made it, uh, you have to extract that um, Android 4.4.3 or 4.4.4 KitKat file here and extract the zip it will give you this these files here boot bootloader and all this kind of stuff and also make sure your device has unlocked bootloader here as you can see lock state unlocked otherwise you won't be installing this and of course if you have installed the Android L you will definitely have an unlocked device so no problems so all you need to do is once you have done all of the things that I explained you gotta shift hold shift and right click the Android folder here and then you will get an option open command window here when you click on open command window here it says uh, it, it is the command prompt is in this folder here so now you're gonna type flash dash all dot that okay okay flash dash all the best not okay now I'm gonna check out here what what kind of stuff is here in it flash dead dash all dot bat okay now I'm gonna type flash okay for the smelling mistake I didn't notice now full correct spelling here and it's uh, you know it's installing on my device as you can see my device is connecting and dis disconnecting so it was called finished total time okay it's not finished but you have to wait it will install everything just gotta wait patiently it will take two or three minutes and when it says press any button to con uh, to close the command prompt, then it means that everything has been installed. So just gotta wait. It's 
sending system take some time so this procedure is very easy it's actually the same way you have installed the Android L you have the same way you have to downgrade it it's not like iOS it's completely simple and this will work for Nexus 5 and Nexus 7 the devices that are upgradable to the Android L so uh, yes this is a quick little video here and once it has done just uh, just hit the power button your device will uh, completely boot up into the 4.4.3 or 4.4.4 KitKat uh, whatever ROM you have downloaded I will be uh, I think it's 4.4.3 right now here on my device but anyways it's just a KitKat uh, so uh, your device will be downgraded to the KitKat everything will be working absolutely fine you won't have any kind of problems so this is the best downgradable method and it was very easy so if you have any questions you can just comment down below if you want to, my, want to know how to install NRL on your Nexus 5 you can check out the description if you want to watch my uh, review about that you can also check out the description and I will see you in the next video peace out the reason I'm uh, stopping this video right now is because my camera is getting uh, hotter and it, it will shut down anytime so that's why uh, yes 